<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. It's part of our regular series that we have here every Tuesday on YouTube and it also goes onto iTunes and Stitcher every Friday. So I hope that you get something out of this today. And it's one of my favorite things we're going to talk about. The question is, how can we use social media to promote veganism? I believe that veganism is not enough. Um, you need to use your skills, your talents, your expertise to actually promote veganism in the best way that you can. And one of the ways you can do this is online and especially with social media. And keep in mind, not everyone's good at socializing and networking. One of my favorite things to do, but I know that not everyone is good at this. I know people don't like, not everyone likes protests, not everyone likes one-on-one -on -one interaction with people, in particular strangers and people um, in the mainstream society. People don't like demos, some people don't like, you know, handing out leaflets and literature. There's so many things that um, people can do to promote veganism, but it might not be the sort of thing that you like. So you need to find out the things that you like doing, the things that you're good at, and actually do them and stick to them. And keep in mind, there's not only one way of promoting veganism. With tools such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram and LinkedIn, as well as blogs, forums, websites, it's never been easier to get involved with online activism. Social media links individuals to select what they want and who they trust before they actually read and engage with a brand or a group. Social media shows behind the scenes and how to get involved with this group. It focuses on the pro process and not just the outcome. Social media recognizes the power of a creative network and is more engaging and less formal. We have so many things now that are cheaper, including video cameras, phones, editing software, microphones, computers and laptops. These are now more affordable and they give people the opportunity to create, edit and spread information easily and cheaply. Social media controls the influence of public opinion. You can utilize this by sharing online content that matters to you and to others in your arena. And here's a couple of tips. You need to provide value for your readers. You need to focus on relevant and up-to-date information. And like, keep in mind, it needs to be on a regular basis. In particular, if you've got a blog, in particular, if you've got a website and you want people to be following you and sharing your information, you need to provide regular up-to-date content so if you're like oh i'm going to start this blog i'm going to write all the time i'm going to share all this stuff online and you do that every single day three times a day for a month and you're completely overwhelmed and you give up for a while this is not going to work this is not sustainable so you need to work out what you can commit to say for example writing one blog a week and doing one video a week or one video um, every two weeks and a blog the other the other week. So you need to focus on those and make sure that you stick to those things. It's all about commitment to the cause. So you need to have something meaningful to say. Know your topic and your audience well. Think outside the square and have a unique focus or approach. Just sharing or knowing about animal rights, veganism issues and um, a lot of other activism things is not enough it's really not and i feel that a lot of people can get into this trap oh yeah i know about it i've shared a link that's fine i'm not going to do anything else and this is great and hopefully more people know about it because you've shared the link but from that you need to you need to work out how can you change your behavior based on what you know and how can you educate others to change their behavior or at least learn something that they have not learned before if, and here's, here's a couple of tips so based on what you actually want to do and what how you want to engage um, with the people that you want to listen or share or engage with your material. If you want to create a conversation, you need to ask questions and encourage answers. If you want to share visuals, then you can upload videos, photos and presentations. If you want to link to your website, then share blogs, articles, recipes, etc. from your website. Keep in mind though, to share um, one of your own things to about four of um, sharing other people's things. So it's not just all spam, follow me, buy me, all the things that you have. Um, if you want to gauge an opinion, ask fans for their opinion and feedback on products or services. 
keep a few things in mind like to share more visuals than text and if you're writing an article make sure you break the text up with visuals mix it up a bit for example a guide would be like every Monday you can share an article every Tuesday you can share quotes Wednesdays you can share a blog or a podcast Thursdays videos and Fridays photos you need to keep up to date with what's happening in the movement and keep in mind you really don't need to create new content there's some really great content that's available online and for example we will a vegan we have so much content all the time and you don't need to be creating your own content when some really good content exists out there so just do a search for what you're looking for and see what exists promote the positive always be genuine and be honest lead by example keep goal focused of course and believe that you are part of the change that we need i hope that's helped with how you can promote veganism via social media and i hope you join us next week for our next question and answer which is what's wrong with organic thank you cvvillavegan.net for more information